I know this is not the outcome that we all wanted to happen. Sadly, I think this is the outcome that most of us knew was going to happen. There's just there's no words right now to, to describe the anger I feel and the senselessness of this incident. I said it earlier, there's a special place in hell for this guy, and I mean it. What we're going to deal with tonight is bad, and we're going to be out here all night having to deal with it. So, give you that, that much. The family has been notified. Uh, we've made arrangements uh, through other contacts to try and get them the spiritual uh, guidance through this, and we're hoping that uh, they can now at least have some kind of closure to what's going on. It's not the closure we were hoping for. It's not the closure they were hoping for. But uh, as we progress through the night, we don't know uh, all the facts yet at the scene. I can tell you that I have uh, been near the scene to have seen, and uh, we will be processing. It's going to be very methodical, and uh, and as, if we get any different news regarding this, we'll be sure to let you know. But at this point, uh, right now, that's what we're working with. And uh, it it's, uh, sucks on many levels. So, do you have a question? Well, what time did you come out here today? We got the call at about 5.30 p.m. There was a farm worker in the area, and uh, during the course of uh, his job duties, uh, came across them and made uh, contact. Uh, stayed by, we had uh, deputies on scene rather quickly, and detectives were shortly thereafter, and the detectives went to the area and confirmed uh, what we had. Were they all found together, separate? They're, they're relatively close together. So, uh, and I don't want to go into a lot of details as to what, but, uh, and we will at the later time be uh, telling you how things have occurred. But um, again, uh, horribly, horribly senseless as to what happened here. We don't know motivation yet, but we are uh, making a determinant factor on that. And the investigation now is going to uh, pursue a full conviction. And uh, I'm hoping our district attorney's office uh, files for the death penalty. That's how I feel. Sheriff, you look you look pretty emotional, Sheriff. Uh, yeah, you're dealing with a child. Uh, I shared uh, an incident that happened when I was on SWAT back in 1985 where a guy shot his own kids with a 44 Magnum. I was so angry at this son of a gun that, because uh, he shot himself. This is another one of those. I'm, I'm just livid inside because this was completely, totally senseless. We have a whole family wiped out. And for what, we don't know yet. So we are working on that. We'll try and get those answers. So is the suspect able to ever tell you anything about this scene? We, uh, we've got information from the suspect. We're gonna keep that close to our chest at this point. But uh, that suspect has, in fact, been talking to us. Now, did this have anything to do with what you said in the press conference about that cell phone that was found? Is that connected to the phone? Well, the cell phones that we found were belonged to our victims. And um, so I, the connected part is the fact that they had them when they left the business and they were found later on the road. So is that near here? Or uh, in a close proximity, yes. Um, any other indication of where the suspect went beyond this that you can share? Or did he continue that way? Did he come back the other way? We know the we truck have information, in but right now we want to keep that tight uh, only because we want now our focus is, is on uh, conviction. So now that we've got this part of the investigation, uh, I'll say not even wrapped up, but investigating this part, uh, now we're going to go for and try to get as much evidence as we can, and we do have a lot of circumstantial evidence and direct evidence that we are going to be gathering and hopefully presenting to the district attorney's office. Are you able sure. to share at all for people who haven't been out to this area, what the area is like where you did find them? Extremely rural farm area. Uh, not a lot of folks come out here except for the folks here, and if you guys uh, went down that lovely road, you'll understand why there's not a lot of people coming through here, and it is extremely remote. And um, the fact that coming out here, I will bet you if we didn't even have the intersections blocked up, I don't think in, in two hours we'd have had 10 